This lesson will focus on factorisation with simple examples from the broad general education. The opposite process of expanding a bracket is known as factorisation. When we factorise an expression, we bring the brackets back. When factorising an expression, we always look for the highest common factor. Example 1. Factorise part A, 2K subtract 10, part B, 6H add 24. In example 1, part A, we're looking to factorise 2K subtract 10. We need to look for the highest common factor that's involved between the 2K and also the number 10. So looking at that, the number that goes into 2 that also goes into 10 is the number 2. So we call that our highest common factor. So we take that and we place it outside of our bracket. What I need to do is work out what has to go inside of my bracket that will give me my initial starting expression. So 2 multiplied by what is going to give me 2k? Well, that's going to be k. I then put my subtract. 2 multiplied by what will give me 10? And that is 5. And I close my bracket. What I would always recommend doing here is just double checking. Let's just break it out kind of in our heads. 2 multiplied by k, 2k. 2 multiplied by the negative 5, negative 10. Perfect. Let's do part B. We have 6h and then we're adding 24. Same thing again, let's check for the highest common factor in 6h and also in 24. So looking at that, we know that the number 6 is the highest common factor. That number goes into both 6 and 24. Bring back your bracket. So 6 multiplied by what gives me 6h, and then 6 multiplied by what gives you 24. If you're struggling, what we could do here is we could just write it like that, question mark, add question mark. Okay, so we need to work out what these question marks are. So it's going to be 6. Now what do I need to multiply 6 by to get 6h? Well, h, then I put my add. Then I need to work out this question mark. 6 multiplied by what gives me 24? That would be 4. And I close the bracket. Again, just double check in your head. 6 multiplied by h, 6h. 6 multiplied by 4, 24. Perfect. Example 2. Factorise 5m add 15g. In example two, we're going to check for the highest common factor of 5m and 15g. So the number that goes into both of them is the number 5. So we're going to bring back our bracket. So if we want, again, I'll just put this in to help us out, question mark, add question mark. Okay, we need to work out these question marks. So 5, bracket, right, 5 multiplied by what gives me 5m? That is just m. Add 5 multiplied by what gives me 15g. So deal with the numbers first of all. 5 multiplied by what gives me 15? Well, that's 3. And then we're going to add on that letter g. Break it back out in your head. 5 multiplied by m, 5m. 5 multiplied by 3g, 15g. Perfect. Example 3. Factorise 20b. Subtract 40g, add 70e. In example 3, we have three terms, nothing changes at all. Let's check for our highest common factor. So because these are all different letters, we're only going to focus on the numbers. So what number goes into 20, 40 and 70? The highest common factor has to be 10. Bring back your bracket and now let's go through the process. 10 multiplied by what gives me 20b? Deal with the number first of all. So it'll be 2 and then we need the letter b. Then we put our subtract. 10 multiplied by what gives me 40? Well that's 4. And then we've got our letter j. 
put your add. 10 multiplied by what gives you to 17? That's a 7. And then we need to let it be. Breaking that back out, you'll see, you get the expression that you started with.